Hi guys, it's Tom and welcome to another weekly review of Supergirl. This week we're actually heading to Krypton, where Kara found herself the subject of an alien symbiote that attached to her, and it gave her visions of her perfect life, which saw her back on her home planet with her family and with a young version of Kal-El, and essentially away from the struggles of her new life on Earth. So Non and Astro were back on the scene this week and it was their plot that actually saw Kara fall victim to this alien symbiote and essentially they were getting her out of the way so that they could plot to eradicate human life on Earth and kind of build their own version of Krypton on Earth. And it was down to Alex, John Jones and the rest of the team to try and stop them. So it was very much Kara on the sidelines this week and a bit more focus on her family and friends. Now it seemed like they're taking a bit of a page out of the Fast and Furious book this week where there's a lot of mention of family and the fact that not just Alex was Kara's family, it was her friends as well. And they even went to the lengths of saying about Hank Henshaw and the, the fact that he saw Alex as just more than a work colleague so it would it, they kind of hammered it home a bit too much this week kind of it made it a bit of a mixed bag for the for the episode there were there were some really good visuals of of krypton which was great to see but then the, the alien itself looked very fake it looked a bit ropey I, mean, I can completely understand the budgeting of these shows is not as as much as what we would expect from obviously superhero movies but it didn't really deter i suppose there was there was a slight weakness in the fact that Melissa Benoist wasn't at the centre of the episode because she's by far the, the best thing about this show. And there, there were a few frailties in the fact that the emotional edge was, was lost a little bit. And I think there was, there was a bit too much from, from Alex's character. It was a little bit overplayed. So it, it kind of lost its way a little bit this week. But the fact that we've, we've now got Non back in the picture and he's obviously the, the end game for this series. So it'll be interesting to see how, how his plans pan out heading forward. As I say, bit of a mixed bag this week. But as always, let me know your thoughts on the episode. How are you finding Supergirl so far? Is it, is it up to the standards that you're expecting or are you deterring away from it and, and focusing on Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow? It'll be great to, to hear your thoughts. And always, thank you for listening. Make sure you subscribe to click that box in the corner there. And thank you very much. And as always, guys, take care.